So we are here with uh, Rodillo from Car Block, which is right here. <laughs> He's right here. And this is um, a, demo. a demo from uh, Car Block as well. And we are um, at a little memorial of Tamir Rice. That's his name, right? Yep. Yeah, and uh, this is actually the place where he was pretty much executed by Cleveland PD. Do you guys uh, have anything to say about this at all? It's uh, another clear example of, you know, the, um, I think it's intentional, but it's, it's a horrific training uh, thing that happens with police officers. They're trained that everybody is a criminal, that everybody is a threat. That the they 12 year old. Might, they might, everybody, anybody, right. everybody, dogs, like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I've interviewed a SWAT officer who told me, Have you ever seen what a dog can do when it chews on your leg? And I'm like, What kind of SWAT officer in Kevlar and an MP5 is going to let a dog chew on their leg? But, anyways, um, so it's just the mentality and the training uh, that the police state has these days. There are no more peace officers, they are law enforcement officers who are scared, who believe everybody is violent that everybody's going to harm them, and that before they'd even risk their own lives, they kill 12-year-olds, you know, before they would even consider putting their own lives in jeopardy, they shoot this kid. I mean, look what they got. They're, they're, they're fucking trolling. Yeah, there's a police officer. Uh, he was waiting here for like, us. Like, like, I mean, what's he watching? What's he doing? He, um, you know, it's weird. Being murdered by, like, a family, you know, and then having their cousin sit outside the place where they shot yeah. shot you. That's like what it's and like. And saying it's like to keep you safe. Like that's like that's what they're saying. Like, oh yeah, obviously there's been some shootings around here, so we're gonna try to keep it. So safe. so do you think that that cop is here to protect this thing from vandalism? Isn't it funny that they one of them killed the guy, killed the kid here, but then they right like you said yeah. they they park out here. Well, we should ask to, him. Well, he won't to, talk to us. No, no, I'm so not we, on his window. Yeah, let, let's go. Let's go talk to him. Yeah, let's let's go, let's go uh, see if we window. can interview him. a second not a minute a second how come you're sitting here today how come well what's your name and badge number your name and badge number because you're a public official are you legally required to provide me that information what's your name can you just tell me that Isn't it kind of weird that you're sitting outside of a scene where one of your colleagues wearing the similar clothing you wear shot and killed a 12-year-old kid and you're sitting here? That's kind of sickening, isn't it? <laughs> it's really creepy. It really is. And then you drove around the parking lot trying to like shadow our plates. I mean, that's, that's like the actions of a gangster, dude. Or a pedophile. It's really <laughs> sick. And you can't even have a conversation about it, which shows that you're like not even happy about it yourself. So I hope you think about it. Visit coplock.org slash Leos. Welcome Leos. There's a spot for you guys too. And this is Crazy, a man. Cleveland PD um, car 102, so. That's sick, like, oh. 